Before we start the lesson, go ahead and do the warm-up and go to this website so that you can take the color survey. Before you start watching, go to the Color Matters website and take the color survey. Think about what the colors mean to you. Understand that people in other cultures may have different ideas of what colors mean and symbolize. This presentation about, is about color psychology and what colors mean. The concept of color psychology came about during the art movement known as Expressionism. It was a modern art movement that started in Germany before World War I. Modern art came about after the invention of photography when art no longer was needed to document and depict reality. Artists started to use their artwork purely to express themselves, hence Expressionism. The Blue Rider was a German Expressionist group founded by a group of artists in Munich. One of these was Russian Wassily Kandinsky, who was considered the first abstract artist. Here's one of his early works. The group was named after this painting. Franz Marc was co-founder of the group. He died during World War I. His artwork was originally condemned as degenerate art by the Nazis, but they also collected his work. Franz Marc developed the theory of color symbolism. In this quote, he explains his ideas on color. Here's one of his most popular paintings, Yellow Cow. Marc painted many works with animals as subjects. The wars and political climate convinced him that mankind was basically evil. To him, animals represented goodness and purity. Think about how you identify with color. One item that reflects one's perception of color is their car ch color choice. Evidently, car color choice can tell you something about the owner's personality. What color would you choose or have you chosen? What kind of person would choose each of these colors of cars? Actually, most cars made are neutral, so are white, black, gray, or silver. But which one of these colors symbolizes the car that you would want? What does red symbolize? Think about pure red, but also its shade, like maroon, and its tint, like pink. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. If you see red, it means you're angry. Pure red is a color that signifies strong emotions like love, passion, and anger. When lighter, it becomes sweet and delicate. What does blue symbolize? Think about pure blue, but also its shade, like navy, and its tint, like sky blue. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. If someone is true blue, it means they're loyal. If they're just blue, they could be sad or depressed. Most people see sky blue as a happy color or dreamy. What does yellow symbolize? Think about pure yellow, but also its shade, like ochre, and its tint, like cream. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. If someone is yellow, it means they're a coward. But yellow is also the color of light, happiness, and the sun. Dark yellow or ochre is referred to as baby poop yellow. What does orange symbolize? Think about pure orange, but also its shade, like rust, and its tint, like peach. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. Here in Knoxville, we see orange all the time. Orange you of all? Orange is the color of energy. 
but also of bad taste. Hmm. What does green symbolize? Think about pure green, but also its shade, like forest, and its tint, like mint. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. Green is the color of nature, but also money. If you're green, it means you're young and experienced. What does violet symbolize? Think about pure violet, but also its shade, like deep violet, and its tint, like lavender. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. Violet, or purple, was usually the color of royalty, but is also the favorite color of young children. When dark, it's dignified, but when light, it's lighthearted. What does brown symbolize? Think about pure brown, but also its shade, like deep brown, and its tint, like tan. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. The neutral brown is like down to earth. It's serious and secure. What does gray symbolize? Think about gray, but also neutrals used to create gray, black and white. Have several ideas in mind before going to the next slide. Gray is the most neutral of neutrals, so it represents the conventional and practical. Black, on the other hand, represents mystery and the unknown, and white represents purity and innocence. Let's go back to Mar Franz Marc's artwork. Here are a few of his horse paintings. What do you think they might symbolize? Here are a couple of his paintings that are very, very different. One is the portrait of his dog, and the other one is of warring animals. Here is one of his last and most famous works, The Fate of the Animals. What animals do you see? What do you think the colors of each animal might symbolize? Refer back to his color philosophy if that might help. But what would it mean to you? Thanks for watching.